Remember that joke by Anthony Jeselnik about thoughts and prayers and virtue signaling? The people who see something horrible happen in the world and they run to the internet and they all write down the exact same thing. My thoughts and prayers. Well, it's still true today and it's actually gotten much, much worse. Thoughts and prayers started sincerely. Then it just became a trend. Then people mocked that trend. Then mocking people for well-wishing just became a weird and mean trend. And it just never stops. Last week, Kobe Bryant and others died tragically in a helicopter crash. And after the story was shockingly verified, all people seemed to do was send their thoughts and prayers. I thought that wasn't allowed. Afterwards, people wanted to hear responses from other NBA players or Kobe Bryant's friends like Shaquille O'Neal or Tracy McGrady. Not Instagram girls who didn't even know who he was. And if you're an NBA or Kobe Bryant fan and you just wanted to share a memory about him or a picture, this video isn't for you. The ones who posted story after story, day in and day out, about how Kobe's death is keeping them up at night and how they're thinking about life and death over and over. These people who post about everything, everything they do from their day-to-day -day lives, every single day, but nothing ever about NBA, basketball, or Kobe Bryant, and what, we're supposed to believe that between watching The Bachelor and 16 and Pregnant, you were flipping back and forth to check the score of the Lakers game? Over five years ago? We already had to endure people virtue signaling, calling it racist to make fun of people for eating bats or snakes about the coronavirus. Kick. I'm concerned about the growing number of reports of hashtag racism and stigmatizing comments on social media directed to people of Chinese and Asian descent related to hashtag coronavirus. Stop joking about people eating bats and snakes, you say? Um, no? CNN has obtained this video filmed inside the market showing that more than seafood was on offer for sale. Indicate it was apparently selling other live wild animals including skinned birds, snakes, and raccoon dogs, sparking concern that the virus might have been transmitted from animals to humans. Well, that's inconvenient now, isn't it? People are so desperate for and so addicted to social media attention that they're actually willing to pretend to care about death and disease in order to get it. People dying and getting sick isn't your time to shine and showcase to the world how special you are. You're not the Joker. No, you cannot joke about that. Yeah, that's not funny. And then there's these people. They're not even trying. Kobe and Gigi forever, broken heart, here's my boobs. Here's my inspirational Kobe quote, you guys. Lashes by Charlene, highlights by Blissful, eyes by ugh. This soulless page is trying to use Kobe's death just to sell watches. Think about that for a second. My life is nothing but a comedy. I used to think certain people were over-exaggerating or being dramatic when they talked about rapid moral and social decay. But now every time something bad happens, the response from at least half of the people online is to try to use that to divert attention to themselves somehow. Don't forget about me today. I can't decide which of this is worse. A Super Bowl halftime show that's going to make everybody sad and depressed? Or vomit-inducing presentation about diversity and inclusion? Neither of which have anything to do with football. So if you're still sitting on the fence on whether or not people should be called out for virtue signaling all the time and using tragedy to get their own attention, then I'm guessing you haven't visited the sleeping with prostitutes is totally awesome part of Twitter. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for me. Forget it.